Now to Florida's coronavirus crisis. As we head for the Thanksgiving holiday today, the State Department of Health said another 6,300 people in the state are infected with COVID-19. More than 2,200 of those are in South Florida. Another 96 people have also died in the state because of the virus. Take a look at this map from the Harvard Global Health Institute. The color red covering most of the country signifies what health experts call a tipping point for the pandemic. Now we can zoom into Florida and see that everywhere but the Daytona Beach area falls into that category. Experts are recommending new stay-at-home orders be reimposed, but Governor Ron DeSantis says he has no plans to do that. Meantime, one doctor not associated with this research is using other language Florida is very familiar with. I'd call this like tropical storm COVID for the last six months, and it is getting worse daily. We're now in full hurricane COVID, and this is not the time to be out and about. Uh, nobody thinks that they're the ones that are going to get COVID. All the people in my ICU, all the people who have died, they didn't think they were going to get COVID, um, but they did. That doctor calls COVID-19 completely preventable. He says it starts with social distancing, but there's a lot of attention tonight on one South Florida bar and its bad look over the weekend. CBS 4's Carly Barnett is live in Fort Lauderdale with the fallout. Carly. Lauren Elliott, after a much anticipated reopening, the wharf here in Fort Lauderdale has been closed again. The mayor of Broward County saying no business can operate if they can't control their premises. And this really serves as a warning to all businesses like this tonight. City and county officials say they don't want to have to do this. They don't want to have to close people down. But this serves as a warning that if you don't follow the protocols, you will get penalized. The wharf in Fort Lauderdale is temporarily closing after being open again for only two days. The city was there with its, its inspectors, the county was there with their own, and the county ultimately made the determination that they could not allow it to remain open because the protocols are not being filed. It had been closed for more than half the year due to the pandemic before reopening this past Friday. However, video from the weekend posted on social media appears to show crowding at the bar, people without masks and no social distancing. And they gave them a 24-hour notice saying you can reopen in 24 hours uh, or when you are able to comply. So it's really the ball is in their court right now. According to the city's new normal guidelines, restaurants are allowed to open to 100% capacity with masks and distancing. Bars are allowed to open to 50% capacity inside and 100% outside, again, as long as the other precautions remain in order. If we want to avoid closing down businesses, which I desperately want to avoid doing, then we have to enforce mask wearing. That's our goal, compliance with wearing masks, not closing down businesses. Broward County Mayor Steve Geller says while the outdoor venue has plenty of space to allow for safe distancing, too many people crowded around the bar. But one customer who was at the wharf on Friday and Saturday thinks the decision to shut them down was overkill. I think they picked on them because they're an open air bar and they're visible to the public and you got all these high rises around them and they just got picked on. Yeah. But all the bars have been open for two months now. Yeah. They opened for two days and they got shut down. The other bars are still open. According to Mayor Geller, the wharf received three citations on Saturday and will have to pay a fine. He did not know the exact amount. The owners of the wharf did not respond to our request for an interview, but they did issue a statement on social media thanking their customers and saying that they will reopen when they can provide the best experience at their outdoor venue. For now, live in Fort Lauderdale, Carly Barnett, CBS 4 News Tonight.